the things. It is indeed a great pleasure to be here. I came back to Odisha after 38 years working in MC Delhi. And I have been fortunate that after I came back, I have got a lot of love and affection by own people. But sometimes I also feel I am the guest in my own house. So that happens you are a long time away from your own state. Today's event is especially interesting and important because we are talking about IT and its, it's need for today's humanity. I, from very beginning I thank Mr. Deepak Sahu and calling of Digital Print Private Limited and also War <coughs> India that they are organizing it and it is sixth successive year. The, the need of IT or ICT or technology today for human being can never be overemphasized. Every sphere of life we have dependent on technology and more importantly for the information technology. Whether you work as a vegetable vendor or you are a CMD sitting in the corporate office of Tata where the CMD take the MD online. I was visiting Tata Hospital. I came to know that Muthu Raman used to take every day 8 o'clock morning MD's managing director, CMD take conference managing director above the duty directors every day morning. So happened what across India Tata is doing. So we know the digital and ICT as well. When I was sitting here, I looked back at AMC. The first, first international conference online we had in 84, we had to go to the uh, IT office in the I think this was the telecommunication office in Parliament Street. And we had an international video conference on the brain tumor, Hanover, Los Angeles, New York and AMC Delhi was doing four center teleconferencing. <coughs> this was somewhere in January or February 1984. And when I was in a fellowship in UK, I first time stopped computer, how the computer being used, that is in 86. And when I came back, after one year or so, the neuroscience department is the first to start a computer in 86. So what we promptly did, to put all the data, admission, discharge, operation and histopathology for computer. If we go back the history for 30 years, what has happened in the Indian context of ICT is just a revolution. I cannot believe how the technology mission started in 1985 by Dr. Mr. Rajiv Gandhi has really, really grown to billion or trillion dollar industry. Now, talking about the medical profession. Today, the medical profession cannot survive without HIMS, Hospital Management Information System. It just started about 30 years back, 25 years back from SGPI in 1990 when one of our CM that time gave one crore for HIMS. And that the first government hospital to start hospital management system in which you have electronic medical record, you have digital storage of data, you have back system for digital library, you have digital information system, nursing informatics, medical informatics, digital operation center, data storage, video conferencing, network. Today we are talking of network of medical colleges because across the country 365 medical colleges, 30 to 50% faculty posts are faculty. That is across what you talk about IITs, IIM, universities or AIMS New Delhi. We have 700 faculty out of which only 500 work and 200 faculty. So if you are thinking every day we add R2, several medical colleges every year and you will faculty, quality faculty just forget. Just making a hospital or medical college has no meaning. Last year we did a 5,000 candidate interview for 6 new AIMS and we could not find a professor from medicine, surgery, gynecology, pediatric, orthopedic, ENT, all our non-clinical department has a professor but the clinical departments have no professor. We also did video conference across the world. The person who could not come, we took the interview online. Those who could come to Delhi for 6 a.m. So I am just trying to tell today that today it is an integral part of the hospital <coughs> management system because without electronic record, AIMS New Delhi have 5 million people come every year. If you have a paper, then you are in a tremendous problem. But it is otherwise also difficult unless you have 
disaster recovery system. When I was in SCPGI, we started HIMS in 1995, 20 years back. They just spent one crore. And the data center, the optical fibers and the back system was totally outdated. So I want to just build it up to make it internationally acceptable standard. And Odisha UP government gave 50 crores for it. Telemedicine center, disaster recovery center, data center for about 10 terabytes, 150 nodes for 10 gigabytes at time. Of course, today you tell 150 gigabytes, nobody will make any sense because I am talking 2009, which is totally outdated. And it was when we tender, it took about two years. And the first the expression of interest at 27 company came. And when you talk to them, what type of information technology you want for the the ultra modern hospital, they about 50 percent were not able to comply to our, our uh, specification. So we had a committee comprised of IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, Department IT Government of India, CDAC, and we have taken an expert committee, 25 people, to see that nobody at the end of the day said that somebody favored a company. And after two years of work, when the finance bid was open, PCS was 67 crore, Wipro was 34 crores, and SRIT, Sobha Renaissance Information Technology Company Bangalore was 15 crores. So see the, what is the amount of money if all hospitals of India will have digitalized everything. So the digital library, digital exam, online. We have a small hospital starting in Ames and Bhubaneswar, and we have done online application, <coughs> online exam. We have about 3,500 applications for 200 nurses post, which are just finished. So we are doing everything online today because if I have to calculate, go through 300, screen through 300, 3,500 applications and 5,000 for the faculty interview, it is not possible today. And look at that, when AIMS is conducting exam for the MBBS entrance, the application is somewhere of 185,000. And when CBS board is doing for the All India MBBS entrance exam, it's somewhere 4 lakhs application. So today you say we are going to do it. So I'm just highlighting the scope of IT every sphere of life. So similar to e-drugs, we are talking about e-accounting, e-finance, e-leap. Everything part is required in e-governance is also required for the hospital because hospital does the same thing. You have people the personal management or human resource management, medical instrument management. In all India Institute, neurosurgery department has equipment worth of 500 crores. If I have to say which equipment will be expiring the maintenance contract, then it will be a problem. Which drug is finishing? Which drug has to be procured 15 days before? I cannot finish the drug and after again order tomorrow. I have to see what is the drug came, how much drug is finished, what is the leftover amount in the operation theater, in the ICU, then only I can successfully manage my e-pharmacy. So I am talking about e-pharmacy, e-leave, e-accounting, e-library. We are just trying to find out, out of 600 medical journals which are going to purchase, can we have a consortium of medical journals for 6 M's? So if I take a package of 600 journals online for 6 M's, we share the money, it will cost just peanuts. If I go to a hardbound journal, which cost each volume, suppose I purchase 600 medical journal, 12 copy every year, it will cost me about 10 crores of rupees or 15 crores. But if I take 600 journal online and distribute through the e-library, e the 6 aims, it will cost me about 30 crores. So the amount of money, the amount of convenience, these are the role of IT in medical profession. So I don't want to go to any more. We are going to have all six M's put in the net and the, the committee has been made by the government of India. We are thinking that each M will spend over 30 crores for the HIMS and six M's put together will be 150 to 200 crores. I would request that please look at our website because we have just published, because I belong to a committee headed by the AIMS director Dr. Misra. There are about 10 expert committee to finalize. The, the expression of interest, the, I, I think, the, but the technical specifications and then going through the company screening, it will all 
happening maybe in the next six months time. So we will be spending for six M somewhere over 150 to 200 crores. So I will always welcome all these IT professionals here that please look at that you can do best service to our humanity for a medical professor. That is upcoming new AIMS which are now just started one year back. So there is a tremendous scope for IT. So far the Odisha government is concerned only a few days back our Honorable Chief Minister had a program of STAIR and we are talking about that day I gave a lecture about telemedicine for the year and it was organized, that part of the workshop was organized by NRHM and Mrs. Rupa Mishra was sharing that session with the Managing Director of NRHM Odisha branch. So we have tremendous scope for the medical practice. So all of you can help us and we can have a better future tomorrow so for the ICD is concerned. Thank you very much. I thank again Mr. Sai for inviting me. Even I am an odd man out, I always enjoy the company because odd man out always is looked all in a group of people. Thank you very much.